across the street from me. Rude is an understatement. Norman and I woke up twice. I almost called the police. Can you believe the nerve of these people? I mean, moving in in the middle of the night? <gasps> I couldn't get back to sleep. Cheryl wants to know what time we're coming over tonight. Mm. Siete, and please be on time. And make sure you tell the others. Por favor. Si, adios, Maria. Ciao. Seven works. Hey, show me the twins real quick. Now? No, surely tomorrow. Are you alone? I'm in my office. Door shut. Everything seems to be in Did you upgrade the filing system? Sagging uneven, but you can do any better. Is this what I pay for? Get to work, though, boy. You just ruined my lunch. Hey, George. Hey, man. Hey. Oh, just let it go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Norm. Hey, Norm. Hey. Hey. Nice to see you, everyone. Haven't seen you in two weeks, Norman. How have you been? Been great, thanks. How the flights? Flights are smooth, Frank. Thank you. Smooth as glass. How long are you off for? Two weeks. Ooh, lucky you. <laughs> yeah. You got some new neighbors, huh? Yeah. Anybody met them? No. no. I heard a peep out of him all day. Yeah, I'll wait till tonight. <laughs> yeah. Howdy, neighbor. Hi. Hey. New guy. Strange man. <laughs> so, when? You said you were today. This weekend, I promise. Tryouts are in a week. Robert, you have a lesson tomorrow. Come here, sweetie. Give mommy a kiss. Night. Sweet dreams of.
So, is he ready today? One. Norman. Two. This isn't the best way. It's fear that's stopping him. You're only scaring him more. I don't want to swim. I want to play baseball. Hey, Obi. Please, come out of there. I want to play baseball. I've never seen a fear of water this intense before. I'm not going to be able to come anymore. I'm really sorry. You know, we can't force him. You're being too hard on the boy. Let's see how far you can throw. OK. Uh, I had an accident. Uh, I'll pay for the window. Well, it's nice to finally meet you. I'm, I'm Norman Slater. Your boy plays ball, huh? Yes, yes, he does. His, his name's Obert. Obert? That's right, Obert. Um. So what do you do? Some call me a shrink. Well, just so you know, we've got a thing called silence after seven in this neighborhood. Jenna, you, Jenna, you and Albert play some catch. Hey, kid, hey, don't, don't be rude. Let's play some catch. Kiss me. Kiss me or I'll hit you again. It's first come, first serve. Prices are non-negotiable. Rodriguez rookie mint condition? No, I can't say that I do. But I do have a Hank Aaron rookie mint condition. Wow! Totally mint? How much? It's pretty pricey. How much you got? Two, 279. Did you count that earlier? No. <laughs> I'll make a deal with you. If there's exactly 279 there, the card is yours. I'll throw in a stethoscope for free. Thanks. <clears throat> What's your name? Uh, this is my old lady, Shirley. I'm George. George Adams. Dr. Peoples. Hey, this is new. Oh, 
Why are you selling all this stuff? Well, I'd rather not have it around. Mom. Yeah? Look what I got for two seventy nine. Let me see. What? I can't let you sell this to him for that much. No, 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 no. I have no use for them. They were... They were for my son. Gracias, mi amigo. De nada. So what was that look about? What look? The one with peoples. Oh, please. He's very intriguing. He's so sweet to Obert. Norman's jealous. This TV doesn't work very well. Yeah, but it looks cool. You're right. So. Has Norman gotten it up yet? <laughs> Time, come on. That's not nice. You know, he's probably gay. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Norman isn't gay. After seven. at large, Frank speaking. Yeah, it's me. Hey, what's up? Uh, are you alone? Yeah, I'm on my way to the office. All right, uh, you're not gonna believe this, uh, but I, I just saw Peoples put a body into his car. It looked like a dead woman. Oh my God. Yeah. He was trying to, trying to keep her covered with a sheet. She looked dead. No, are you sure? Yes, yes. Last night, I heard this woman have a big O in his basement. And right after he started hitting her, she was screaming and calling for help. I guess he beat her unconscious. I guess he just kept on hitting. Hmm. We should call the police. No, no, not yet. No, no, I need to look into this more. You don't look like idiots. Holy shit, he just pulled up right next what, to me. Are you serious? Yeah, it's him. Wait a second. There's a woman in his front seat. She's not moving, all right? Well, well, follow him, Frank. Just let him get ahead of you. He just got in the carpool lane. Just follow him. I, I don't know about that. It's a $300 ticket. Are you kidding me? Go! Wait a second. 
What do you say? A cop? I'm getting pulled over. 300 bucks, man. I knew it. Shit. You know, what did I just tell you? All right, you listen to me, Frank. You don't say a word. You got that? I'll call you back. <laughs> Shit. Come on, Rocco, give me a break. Can't. Got these new video cameras installed. What? Huh? Yeah. Cameras are always on. I caught you coming up the on-ramp. Well, can't you just give me a warning or something? Not for driving alone in a carpool lane. I owe you one. Wait. Could you draw a house for me? I could, but I don't want to. Well, I'm afraid you have to. What kind of house? Draw a picture of your house. I'm afraid he's not letting out his anger, as there's no chimney. Uh, the lack of a welcome mat indicates he does not let others in. Also, I notice there's no family activity in the front yard. The absence of windows, he's not willing to look outward. Note everything is in black. Look, do you think you can rid the boy of his fear of water or not? There is no guarantee. <laughs> Hydrophobia is difficult to cure. But his nightmares about drowning are getting worse. Listen, the best way to get him over his nightmares is to get him into the pool. Has Obert ever had a negative experience with water ever? Anything? and that brother fighting again. But she's there. Yeah, she's not dead. She was definitely conscious. I bet he took her to the hospital. I think we should get Rocco involved. No, no, not yet. We need to look into this more, you and I. This guy's trouble. I'm with you. This is ridiculous. Let it harden first. It comes off easier that way. Is it hard yet? You know, we're all looking forward to meeting the missus.
Actually, I need a Mr. Fix-It. You handy with cars? <laughs> no. Just people. But I can give you a ride if you like. Sorry if I said something to offend you earlier. No, no, no. It's fine. I uh, overreacted. It was rude. It's just that the missus is dead. I'm sorry. I heard that you lived with a woman, and I, I assumed that she was your wife. A brunette? Yeah. Yeah. So many assumptions. That would be Molly. Is she your girlfriend? Having a party? Yeah. It's my son's birthday. I like your eyes. They are so big. So, uh, what was that about? Oh, it's nice enough to give me a ride, actually. Well, where's your car? It's at the candle store. It's broken down. It wouldn't start. Um, would you mind going to get it for me? Some wires just came loose. I mean, isn't that possible? Mm, highly unlikely. You always keep that car unlocked. You probably just pop the hood. Oh, give me a break. As if his night antics weren't enough. Frank and I heard him beating a woman. Come again? A woman. Keeps her trapped in his basement. <laughs> How do you know this? Both Frank and I heard it. If you know this for a fact, Norman, just call the police. We're looking into it more first. I'm not making this up. This is serious. And so is your imagination. You know, you're always one for a conspiracy. Dr. Peoples is a nice man. Uh, to you, maybe. Do I sense a little jealousy here? <sighs> Actually, I'm flattered. Can we just try to have a good time today, please? This is going to be a real mess. I'm going to have to steam clean again. Where's Eddie? He got sick. His mom wouldn't let him come over. It's all right. All of Obi's friends canceled. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Come on in. Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ober. Thanks. Hi, Norm. Hi. Hey, everyone. Hi. Hi, Obert. Where are your friends? Eddie's sick. And everyone thought he was coming and didn't want to get sick. So they're not coming. Yeah, Frank speaking. Realtor at large. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in, man. Come on. Let me call you back. That's exactly why I left you. You're gonna gamble your life away. I'm not gambling, will you? So, anyone care for a drink? We, we don't drink. We do. Let's go. Let's 
serious. He was beating her and then screwing her within seconds. And it's happened more than once. Guy's got a child's coffin in his house. Norman, how many times have you seen UFOs while flying? Yeah, I'm not the only pilot to see the lights, my friend. Seems you're trying to find something wrong with these people. No way, George. I saw that weird stuff at the garage sale. You mean the stuff that we all bought? Hello? Hi. Hey, Doc, come on in. Hey, happy birthday, Obert. Ah, oh, thanks. Did you invite him? No. Then why is he here? I don't know. How'd you know it was my birthday? Your mother told me. It's nice of you, Dr. Peoples. Oh, it was a pleasure. Uh, why don't you come on in? Can, can I get you something to drink? Or you like you. a hat? Okay. <laughs> Cookie? Yeah. Uh, thank you. you. Like Seems you're a well-read man, Norman. I noticed a section on conspiracy works. Are you a theorist? No. I just seek the truth. <laughs> What's the truth about the woman you put into the car the other morning? She looked hurt. I saw her in your car as well. Cake is served, gentlemen. Great. I'm starving. We can't let him weasel his way out of it like that. He's torturing that woman in his basement. Somebody's got to confront him. Since Cheryl's been on her meds, she's like a different person. It's wonderful. That's huh, sweetie. I believe medication is overprescribed. Sure, it's necessary in a few extreme bipolar and manic cases, but it seems to have become a band-aid for the general public. I'm working with patients with an alternative and interactive uh, treatment. No medication whatsoever. I believe this could become the future of psychiatry. Wow. That's interesting. So what's it like being a shrink? Well, helping people to look inward and to see the light is something that I find very rewarding. Actually, I love it. Did you hear that, Norm? Have you seen the light? Uh, yes, but every so often you encounter a patient that's unable to be cured, usually because of some form of Denial. Mm. So who's the brunette? Whoa! Oh. I'm sorry. Let me help you. Uh. I'm sorry. Mm. I, uh, I should go change. Over. Thanks. You got your mother's eyes, kid. Look. 
o'clock in the morning. Is there a problem? I need to borrow a cup of sugar. Get out of here. Leave, asshole! George, calm down. Doc, please leave, doctor. Now! Would you mind lending me a cup of sugar first? <laughs> Ouch. You want some of me? Hmm? Just a cup of sugar. You want some of this? Just a cup of sugar. You're really George. making a name for yourself. George! George! George, don't! I'll teach you to mess with George Look, Adams. just forget about it, all right? Do not come on my property. You wouldn't hit a surrendering man, would you? George, stop it! Stop! Please stop! No! It's called self-defense. Now, he attacked me on my property. you for some reason. He must have some, some motive. What? Money? Oh, could be. George, I talked to a friend in the department, Neil Rocco. A friend that gave you a ticket? Well, he owes me one. He's looking into your case. He's checking people's out. Just stay out of it. This is my business. What's that lovely aroma? Cookies. Any special occasion? Not really. Have we found a new swimming instructor yet? Nope. Keep your eye on the ball. Um, can you do me a favor? But you gotta keep it a secret. Cool. 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 Now this guy, Peoples, was a psychiatrist. Graduated top of his class, Harvard Med School. Lost his license in 95 for patient involvement, in unconventional practice. Oh, but he still calls himself Dr. Peoples. Yeah. Well, in the same year, he changed his name legally from Avery Peoples to Dr. Peoples. First name spelled D-O-C-T-O-R. What? Bizarre, right? Every few years, he tries to get his license reinstated, claiming that he's discovered some new method of practice. But he always gets turned down. When his parents died, he inherited a couple mil from them. He's got no police record. Although, his driver's license was suspended once for driving alone in the carpool lane. Three tickets in one month. In 95, his wife died giving birth in one of those new age water birth clinics. But the death certificate is missing. Sometimes DCs get misplaced or in the wrong file, but it's, it's not common. The baby lived, but it wasn't raised by people. People sounds fishy. It's a little premature for a search, though. You gotta show just cause, proof. Keep an eye on him. 
Get a video camera. You're absolutely sure she went into his house? Yes, I already told you. And how long was she in there for? A long time, because I fell asleep. Thanks, Obi. It's uh, good. Remember, uh, the spying is our little secret, right? I like spying. It's funnier than hide and seek. Who's he? Well, uh, Obert, I don't, I don't want to uh, upset you or anything, but I uh, just want you to be the, the new friend. Is he another doctor? He's different. He, uh, he works with children, but he plays sports with them. Dad, this sucks. Oh, come on, you'll have fun. Okay, your house is it's very interesting. You, uh, you only use black ink? Black is all colors combined. Now, about your house. I'm afraid you're not letting out your anger as there is no chimney. No welcome mat indicates you do not let others in. And your absence of windows means you're not willing to look outward. All right, all right. We've done this before. Did you take your medication? Yes, of course. Don't even tell me you're playing peep show again with that crazy dog of a wife. I'm on my lunch hour. Like you need lunch. I need these files checked by six. Oh, are you getting mad, George? What are you gonna do about it? Tell me, what should I do? Sorry, should have told you. We'll go to the batting cage tomorrow. Don't be upset. Got a surprise for you waiting back at the house. Good evening. Gotcha. Gotta go piddle. Gotta take, uh... What did you uh, decide on, anyway? Hawkeye. Ah. Hawkeye. She said you make me feel sexy. That's Maria. She used to say that to me. No siento como regresar a la secundaria. You stop! You stop! Stop! Maria, get out of there! May I help you? What the hell is this? A decoy for the carpool lane. You know what I mean, Frank? Where's my wife? 
Are you serious? Where is she? You are blind. Turn around. What's going on? We've got a split, Norm. Oh, I'll pick him up later. What do you mean you'll pick him up later? Who's is he? It's Obert. Obert, honey, we, we can't... Do not try to turn this around, okay? Where were you? Times? Bullshit. I'm going to ask you again, where were you? I just told you. Norman, what's wrong with so, you? Uh, did you get a chance to, uh, to meet uh, people's abused girlfriend? Huh? No. Why? You were inside the house, weren't you? I baked him cookies. What? How how could you bake him cookies after what he did to George? I just, it, it was a piece of... Why aren't you in there tonight? What's up? I just want to make sure I'm not all caught up in my own head. Last night, the woman we heard in his basement was Maria, right? Definitely. Boy, I, just, I can't believe she's doing this. You know he's got uh, no trespassing signs in his yard now. Yeah, I know. I saw that. I have an idea. I need your help, though. What is it? Expose him. Catch him and Maria in the act. And free that woman he's been terrorizing. And he'll get George off the hook. You know, she's gonna get half, unless you can prove infidelity. We will.
I'll get it. I'll get it. Uh, hello? Oh, that's terrible. Well, I, I wish I could, but uh, I've taken these last two weeks off because my son has Little League. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'll fly out tomorrow. Work? These two pilots became ill, and uh, all these flights have come up that they need me to take. I have to go. You said you'd take me to tryouts. Well, d don't worry. You'll do well. Time leaves me, but moves across the street. I know two things, sports and women. She's definitely coming back to me. Yeah. Listen, Frank. Tyne is filing for divorce. No <laughs> way, she's, uh, she's too into me, Norm. What? Frank, I'm absolutely serious. She's told Maria. She wouldn't do that. She, she loves me. I'm not going to let that happen. I bet you money that's her. Hello, it's Frank. I know. I know, I'm working on it, okay? I guess, but... Wait, 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 wait Frank. Uh, Frank, wait a second, wait. Is there a problem? Squeeze it a little tighter, son, okay? Like this? Right. Now, ready? Swing. Hey, right. that's great. Slugger. Honey, that's awesome. It is. Do you guys want to come inside for a little bit? Sure. Dr. Peoples? <laughs> Anyone got any foil swim? I think he's trying to get them into your pool. Okay, I'll check it out. Excuse me? No blood, though. Bruges come later. What about this? What do you see here? <laughs> Gross. That's two grown women touching each other's privates. And this? That's me being punched and kissed. Guess time's up. He's extremely disturbed. I beg your pardon? I feel Obert needs to be enrolled in our outpatient program. This is a little extreme, don't you think? 
I mean, we already ran your insurance. Your out-of-pocket copay is only five hundred dollars a month. Oh, only. Well, what matters now is Obert. Well, yeah. He's sick and he needs help. I have an obligation to the state to report potential child abuse in the home. Wait a minute. Wait. wait. What are you saying? Ober took a standard Rorschach test indicating he's exposed to some type of sexual or physical abuse. In my home? That's you absurd. You can voluntarily enroll Ober no, in our minute, outpatient program. Ober is, Obert is a good If you choose not boy. to, you should know I, I have a right to Baker Act him. What's a Baker Act? Baker Act is a 72-hour time period where a doctor can legally admit a patient for observation and testing. Perhaps we could try the, um, the outpatient. I would just need to discuss this with my husband. I think that would be a good idea. Excuse me, Frank. What do you want? Well, this was in my mailbox, but it's addressed to you. If you'd like to talk. It's junk mail. I got stuff to do, man. Frank, I've... I've been watching you, watching me. Listen, I don't want to get into it. I have to clean this room up. I need to sell the house as soon as possible. Give me a hand, will you? Uh, Frank, what's going on? We just set this up. Obi, honey? Obi? Obi? Come on, honey. Obi? What, the house is taken care of. I don't care. We're even now. No, I will not accept. No, I want one. You hear me? What? What's going on, Frank? I'll talk to you later. It's a personal matter. Yeah. Well, hold on. No, I got to run. Man. Hey, Frank, wait. Where are you? Sacramento? On uh, a layover. What's wrong? Obert's missing. What? He's gone. He just... He ran away from, from the doctor's office. Uh, did, did you check the house? Of course. Uh, have, have you uh, uh, looked in the neighborhood? Yes. I looked everywhere. Uh, okay, well, let's just calm down and, and listen, listen. Don't, don't do I already this. called the police. Please come home. Norman, I need you to come home now, please. I was working the last two days. Will they verify this? Yes, I cannot believe this. We're being treated like criminals here. Potential child abuse is always reported by medical professionals. This is wasting precious time. No one's saying you've done anything. I am saying that a well-respected psychiatric facility reported potential abuse to your son, and then he just disappeared. He ran away. Listen, Obert has issues. We know this. But he is not an abused child. He ran away or... is with that man across the street, Dr. Peoples. Go on. Frank, uh, our neighbor, heard a kid inside People's house last night. People's has no children. Norman. 
correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, aren't you required to maintain a certain groomed appearance when flying? What exactly did you hear going on in his house last night? A woman crying. You know, I heard sex and violence in the past. Now, specifically last night. What did you hear? I told you. A woman crying. That's it. Just a woman. Yeah. Thank you for your time. You need to check out Dr. Peoples. My God, Norman, please. Mr. Slater, we cannot enter his house without a warrant, and a judge will not issue us one because you are lying. That, that, that is preposterous. I, every second counts here. If I were you, I wouldn't say anything else. What? Shut your mouth. Sit down. Please don't leave the city limits, Mr. Slater. Excuse me? I suggest that you call your attorney. Now, we have an APB out on Obert. You continue looking around and pass out some of those flyers. Oh, we will. I will. this way.
How you doing, buddy? How's Obi? He's still in ICU. Said he was playing hide and seek. What do you want first? Good news or bad news? Bad. Maria says that she saw Dr. Peoples take Obert out of the pool. Oh, that's, well, the question is, who put him in the pool? Detectives want to talk to you about child abuse. Yeah, I know what's going on. Peoples and Maria are setting me up. They're having an affair. You have any proof of that? No, not yet. We would need it. Police are saying that you lied about being at work before Ober's disappearance. An injunction's been placed against you to stay 500 feet away from Ober, and Maria's also placed a restraining order against you. You're gonna need to stay away from her as well. well why? I mean, it's not like I'm gonna be breaking out of here. Oh, all, all right, now for the good news. Somebody posted your bail, $250,000. Ooh. Anonymous. Norman, you go anywhere near that hospital or your home, you're gonna be arrested. You're going to be released tomorrow at 6. Do not go home. It's 0067. It's my cell. Could you have her call me ASAP? And now the Royals bring the ball the other direction. They reeled off the last six points, and we're under 16 minutes to play here in regulation. Davis, fucking freaked me out, man. Come on, let's go! Put the ball in the hole! Yeah, I want it, I'm in. You're gambling again. No. Did you bail me out of jail? No. No, I mean, you can't be here, okay? You gotta leave. I had to put the house in escrow. I emptied the whole spare room. Someone else did this. What? Are you in on this with them? No way, Norm. I swear to God on my life, I took this stuff down yesterday. Someone else has been in here. Are you lying to me, Frank? No, I swear to God! Then why are you so intent on selling this place? You want the truth? No! Lie to me, please! The truth is I've been gambling. But you said you were gonna stop gambling. I lied. I was up 250,000 bucks, man. And I dropped 500. So I sold the house. Check this out. I've got 10 points on the max. This time it's different. This time I'm betting big, I'm betting smart, and I bet $1 million. Some games are fixed, Frank. That's ridiculous. Hello? A nurse said you called. That's right. How is he? He's sleeping. And he's gonna be fine.
or anything. I need 10 points, man. What are you saying, Dr. Pete? Listen to me. When people have a superior person or action hanging over their heads 99.9% .9 of the time, their actions are not organic, but influenced by the governing party. Do you know what you have to do? Yes. Do you? Risking your ass. Shirley went over to people's house earlier. I heard her go into his house. She's been here all day. Uh uh. Have you been here all day? Yeah. I went to the store for a little bit. When? About an hour ago. That's when she went. No, she didn't. Uh, bullshit! Are, are you two people doing something with this man? No. Oh, we're not. There's no conspiracy here. My life doesn't have anything to do with you. Stay out. It's none of your business. This man is trying to destroy our life. It is my business. He, he's keeping his wife, who is not dead, in the basement. And uh, he's trying to screw on a wife. Get out. He tried to kill Obi. He tried to kill <laughs> oh. 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 He's a psychopath. Look at yourself. Uh. Who's the psychopath? Take the shot, take the shot. Good defense. Nice steal, go. Take it to the hole. He's open. Shot, nice. Two points, let's go. Good pass, come on. Look at him. Better keep on me. Three! Three! Oh, 
Listen, listen, listen. Your eyes are so sexy. You're so naughty. They devour me. He's got some nerve. Do you want to touch me? Norman is clueless. Well, he suspects something, but it's not like he can prove it. Don't look at me like that. You know what it does to me. Patience, my patience. Do you know how sexy you are? Let's I and make you feel good. That's my wife. Girls, girls. That's my wife! I think I'm in love with you. I don't want to give you the wrong impression. I love Norman. Psychiatrist. He lost his license for patient involvement in unconventional practice. Saw that weird stuff at the garage sale. Silence after seven. Patients, my patients. You mean the stuff that we all bought? I'm working with patients with an alternative and interactive uh, treatment. Not what you think, huh? Not 
You have patience! Yes, you are. I could have you arrested for this. I could have you arrested for just being here, but why would I do that when I'm the one who bailed you out? Why are you doing this? Every day of my life, I regret giving up my child for adoption. I can't change that. His wife died. The baby lived. People didn't raise him. The death certificate is missing. You are blind. Everyone in his family is 95 dead. Earth and 95 New Age water breaks. Water breaks. But I can't help that child by helping those around him to change for the better. Looking inward leads people to the light. You've been looking inward recently. What do you see? Obi's not the one with the problem. The problem lies in those affecting him. But all problems are meant to be solved. He needs love. He needs He needs a father. He needs you. Adopted? How come you never told me? <sighs> I'm sorry. Sorry. I thought that knowing what 
take something away. Get your mother's eyes, your mother's eyes, get your mother's eyes. Thank <laughs> you.